Hello all, myself and Noma Mageshwari, Assistant Professor of Physics from KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Trichangpur. Today I am going to discuss about the topic polarization. In a longitudinal wave, all directions perpendicular to the wave propagation are equivalent. In a transverse wave, a preferential direction normal to the wave propagation exists. The existence of this direction in transverse wave leads to the characteristic phenomenon known as the polarization. It is specific to transverse waves. In an ideal light wave, the vibrations of electric vector are confined to a single plane. Such a random orientation of vibration plane gives rise to symmetry. This process of removing the symmetry and bringing in one-sidedness is the light wave is called as polarization. So optical activity. So optical activity is a process that has the certain crystals and uh, solutions possesses a natural ability to rotate the plane of polarization about the direction of propagation. In liquid and solution the optical activity is due to the certain structural symmetry in the air molecules. Substances which have the ability to rotate the plane of the polarized light passing through them are called optically active substances. Example, quartz and cinnabar. Optically active substances are classified into two types. Dextrorotatory substances, levorotatory substances. Dextrorotatory which rotate the plane of polarization of light toward the right known as the right hander. So, which rotate the plane of polarization of light toward the left is known as the left-handed or levorotatory. A measure of the optical activity of a sample is the rotation produced for a 1 mm slab for a solid or a 100 mm path length of a liquid specific rotation. If an optically active material is kept between two crossed polarizers, the field of view becomes bright. The angle through which the analyzer is rotated equal the angle through which the plane of polarization is rotated by the optically active substances. The angle of rotations is depend upon the thickness of substance, density of material, wavelength of light and then the temperature. So the it is uh, defined as the theta is equal to alpha L where alpha is called as the rotational constant. So theta is also written as SCL. Here C is the known as the concentration and S is called as the specific rotation. Polarimeter. A polarimeter is an instrument used for the determining the optical rotation of the solutions. Here we can exclusively see the Lorentz half-sheet polarimeter image which is used for the determining the optical rotation of sugar and it's also called as a sachari meter. Instruments measures the rotation of polarized light as it passes through an optically active substance and the tendency of the molecule to rotate the plane polarized light towards clockwise or anticlockwise direction whose extent of the rotation can be measured. In the principle, a pair of crossed polarizers may be used as a polarimeter. Here, no light will emerge from such a combination. Thank you.